Welcome to week seven of our ROS track. This week, we're going to be talking about the last type of ROS interface, actions. Actions extend the call and response pattern we saw with services. Actions are designed for longer running tasks. On top of being able to send a request and get a response, actions allow the client to get feedback messages while the task runs, and to cancel a task before it completes. Actions show up a lot when you start working with navigation and high-level robot behaviors in ROS. Just like services, actions are many to one. There is one server for each action, and there can be many clients for that same action. The client sends a goal to the action server. The server can either accept or reject that goal. If the goal is accepted, the server starts executing the task and sending feedback back to the client. Once the task is done, the server sends a result for that goal to the client. The client can also send a cancel request to the server before the goal completes, which the server can again accept or reject. Goals and cancel requests can be accepted or rejected based on any logic the server wants. Most simple action servers will accept all of these requests. Others might have restrictions on the kinds of goals they accept. For example, an action server might only allow executing one goal at a time, so it would reject any other goal requests that come in while it's working on the first goal. Under the hood, actions are implemented using topics and services. While we don't need to understand these details to use them, don't be surprised if you see action-related topics and services show up in some introspection tools. While most of them will hide these behind-the-scenes interfaces, not all tools have that filtering built in. Let's take a look at a real action provided by TurtleSim. I'll start up TurtleSim and another terminal to run some commands in. To show all of the currently available actions, we can use the action list command. We've only got one action available. That's the rotate absolute action provided by TurtleSim. We can show more information about this action with the action info command. Make sure to use the T flag to show the name of the action type. This shows us the TurtleSim node is the server for this action, and the name of the action type is TurtleSim action rotate absolute. We can inspect that type as usual with the interface show command. Action definitions are divided into three messages separated by these triple dash lines. The first section is the goal, the second section is the response, and the final section is the feedback message. The goal for this action contains just the target angle we want our turtle to turn to. The result is how far the turtle turned to get to that angle, and the feedback messages contain the radians the turtle has left to turn to get to our destination. Now that we know the structure of this action, we can send a goal to that action with the action send goal command. To send a goal to an action, we need to specify the action name, the type of the action, and the field values for the goal message. Then when we run this command, we see that the server accepted the goal, the turtle turns, and the result tells us that it turned about one radian. If we want to send a goal and see the feedback messages, we can run the same command with the F flag. I'll set our command to theta back to zero, add the F flag, and hit enter again. This time, as our turtle turns, we see a bunch of feedback messages printed out to the terminal. Now that we've seen how actions work, the next two videos will cover creating an action server and client in C++.